this is an announcement. I, Triple O Firestorm, have stolen Darth Vader's asthma pumps. If anybody's ever realised why he wears the suit and breathes like a man who's been jogging too much, it's because he's asthmatic. These are his asthma pumps. I've stolen them. Right now, he's crying like a baby to the Emperor because he can't find his asthma pumps. He's also majorly upset because his son, Luke Skywalker, has been arrested and charged for incest. Apparently, he did not know that Leia was his sister. I say he did, and he's a sick old man. But enough about Luke and his problems in the pedophile world. Enough about Vader's asthma secrets. I am here because I have to present a review. One that will crush the happiness of some people out there. Because they want to have this figure and they failed to buy it in time at Auto Assembly 2010. So, allow me to present the figure. Here he is, Sound Blaster. Currently in cassette form. To show off some details for a start, we have an actual button that flips open the cassette holder. Perfect, really works. Underneath, we have the play button, it's pause, rewind buttons. On the side, the volume. On the other side, another button didn't really do anything. So, now I shall present to you his transformation. First, you must slide the legs out, like so. Then flip them down, and turn for flipping the feet. So he's pretty much half done now. As you can see. Now for the arms. And finally the fists. Now finally the head shall emerge. And here is Sound Blaster transformed. Now, let's do a quick demonstration on mobility. It can stand really well, as you could say. Arms, full 360 movement, because they're on like a pin joint. You can uh, set them so he's, so he's basically able to hold his weapons. Legs, mobility isn't very good, but you can move them a bit. Again, they're not really on a pivot though, that's why. And the head is a full 360 movement. Right, now we're going to move on to weapons. So, arm in place. Here we have his rocket little missile launch. That goes there. It does shoot, but I'm not going to shoot it. But obviously, it does shoot. Now, the next weapon is a shoulder cannon. Now, everybody watching will probably notice this is blue. Now, um, his, sh his shoulder cannon in is actually black, but the reason this one's blue is because I've actually misplaced his shoulder cannon. It has fallen off somewhere, fallen off and I don't know where it is, it's somewhere in my room. But I will find it. So John's kindly lent me the sound wave one, so we can get a bit of a comparison. But that's what he looks like all armed up and fully weaponised. Right. With him done. We shall move on to his companions. 
first one. As you, this is Ravage, as you can see. Uh, his transformation is pretty basic, I'm just flipping. Firstly, the legs. This is a little tricky. I'll try and get the legs kind of directly in our tail and head. Switch his feet there. So there. So here, here is Ravage. His back feet needs to go back a bit. There we go. So there he is now. Obviously, he doesn't come without weapons. It's just got these, like, kind of missiles. They attach onto the sides. Like so. And here is Ravage, transformed and armed. Now, before we move on to the next transformation, I just want to demonstrate something. That was Sandworth. Cassette. I've just removed the shoulder cannon. There you go. All fits in set mode. Here's have a slight problem opening. There we go. Right. So obviously this is buzzsaw, because obviously it's sound sound blaster we're dealing with here, so this is buzzsaw. Here's very very basic transformation. Feet. Wings, head. There's Buzzsaw. All pretty much transformed. Obviously, he also has his weapons. See, like the lasers. They fit. Onto the shoulders. And there you have him. Buzzsaw, fully transformed. So. To further point out, here is Sound Blaster that many, many people at Auto Sound 2010 wanted to buy and didn't. But I did. So be happy that I own him. Now, shall retire from this review on a final note of one thing. Boys and girls, Luke Skywalker came close to committing incest. So, don't try that at home. And it leaves to be considered what George Lucas was thinking at the time when he thought, let's be Luke Skywalker and Leia, brother and sister, but have them kiss in episode 5. Many people would think, my god, that's sick. But remember, Star Wars is, always will be, awesome films. So... I shall finish by saying, this is Triple O Firestorm. I hope you have enjoyed this review. Thanks goes to the director of this film, John Knowles, a.k.a. Nosey Double O. I shall also probably receive comments of people saying, how did you buy him? Why did we not buy him? We're going to steal him. But, for now, I will say, peace out, and I hope you all have a good new year. Thank <laughs> you.